My favourite, and the person who's in charge of this here job is Ray Mears, a survival expert. He's spent time in some of the world's harshest and most dangerous landscapes, and now he's braving the Good Morning Britain studio as well for us this year. And he's uh, celebrating teaching survival skills for 35 years. Good morning to you. Mm. That seems a long while, doesn't it? Does, 35 doesn't it? years of woodlaw. Of woodlaw, yeah. Yeah. And what did you kick that? Why did you kick that off? Um, to bring people and, na and nature closer together. That's basically what it's all about. And it's so, so popular, isn't it? It's because very we are a lot of people live in built up areas, very divorced from yeah. our natural wildlife. I was amazed myself when my neighbour said, I think we've got a hedgehog in yeah. our garden. I grew up in the country, so I'm kind of used to it. And my kids were as excited as if you'd said there was a lion cub in the garden. They've never seen one other than unfortunately squished on the road. And it's just about giving them more of a chance, isn't it? They are one of our iconic creatures, aren't they? Mrs mm. Tiggy Winkle, that we all grew up with. And um, they've had a particularly bad year this year because of the hot weather. So, Why would that give them a well, bad time? When the mums were having their young, there wasn't enough water for them, so they had trouble making milk. Mm. And um, in those circumstances, the mothers will abandon their young. Mm. So uh, they've had a particularly uh, tough time of it. And they were already in real danger, weren't they, because yeah. of the decrease in the numbers? Well, the numbers are on decline, in, in decline, and I think there there there'd be three major reasons for that. I mean, obviously, roads, hedgehogs and roads don't go together very well. Uh, loss of habitat, people tidy the gardens up such a lot. Mm. Um, but also when people put slug pellets out, you know, mm. hedgehogs mm. love to eat those sorts of foods, the snails and slugs. So if, you, if you're putting poison out, that's not good for so hedgehogs. Don't put the poison out. Maybe leave a bit of your garden as wilderness and, and also... Make sure that your fencing can allow them to move around because they move around a lot. They, they do, but they are very good climbers. They, are they, can, they? they can swim, Didn't they can that. climb, they're amazing, and uh, they're much more capable than they seem. Is there anything else we could do? Because the old thing used to be put out bread and milk, didn't it? Oh, no, don't put milk out. No. They don't like milk. If you, if you want to... I mean, people say you could give them dog food, but to be honest with you, if you've got a hedgehog, it probably means you've got the food that it wants already. Yeah. The key thing is to provide it habitat and to cherish them. So I did have a... Because I did cherish the one that we had. We had to rescue one for a couple of weeks because we'd moved a building and it was too soon for it to come out of hibernation, yeah. but our local hedgehog rescue said, either bring it to us, this is it, boss hog, who we oh, had after oh, fact you caught it, boss <laughs> couple of weeks. <laughs> and genuine. then it was warm enough, and we had him in the lounge in a cardboard box with some hay and with some uh, dog food as well, and had a whale of a time, but then he, he went off on his own way, which was and good. his own life. But yeah, exactly. Well, the, the, I think the key thing is that we should cherish them, and if, if children haven't seen them, it's a good reason to go out and have a look around in the evening. Yeah. And go out in your garden at night with a torch and look out for the droppings. There are small droppings. Ah. They're about maybe four centimetres long, eight, eight mil. Round diameter, or long? Long. You know I can and, do and, this. And but... shiny and black. And it's shiny great actually yeah. to get children okay. to do things to inspire them rather than playing computer games, but the outside world. The isn't real it? world is so much better than the artificial one. Mm. You know, the, the, you know, that, that's mm. the big message, really. Never mind virtual reality, it's reality. Yeah, actual reality, exactly. Oh, Ray, Lovely to meet thank you. Thank you so thank much you. for bringing in your hedgehog friend as well. Thank we really you. appreciate it.